This futuristic pushchair is the Mima Kobe. At £900, it's one of the most expensive pushchairs we've looked at, but is it all style over substance? We've not yet tested it in our witch labs, but we've given it a quick spin to bring you our first impressions. As you'd expect for a pushchair of this price, the Kobe feels really luxurious and really solid. It's easy to use and you can choose to have the seat facing towards you or facing the outside world and it's also really easy to change the height for better interaction with your baby. The Kobe was designed by Davy Co, the Dutch designer behind the popular Bloom Fresco high chair. As such it's got some really neat design features including a hidden carry cot inside the pushchair seat. This is really clever but we're not actually sure how much you'd use it because you're not likely to want to swap between a carry cot and seat too often. You also have to store the seat shell when the carry cot's in use. The Kobe has been designed to be used for a growing family. You start off with one seat and then can buy additional seats for another child, making it suitable either for twins or children of different ages. There are lots of options for the seats. You can either have a single seat, carry cot or optional car seat, two carry cots for newborns, two seats for toddlers or a seat and a carry cot for children of different ages. Like most double push chairs, the Kobe is quite heavy. It weighs about 15 kilograms just with one seat and that's with no children in either. Outdoors, we found the Kobe really easy to manoeuvre. It's really smooth to push on pavements and feels really solid and sturdy. Inside, it's not quite so simple. It's narrower than a double side-by-side -side push chair, but it's still easy to catch it on doorways. The height of the seat also means it can be tricky to see the front, so you have to watch out where you're pushing it. Aside from the striking design, the thing that makes the Kobe stand out is obviously the price. And if you want an additional seat and all the accessories, you'll be looking to spend more than £1,200 on this pushchair. This is similar to the cost of the Bugaboo Donkey, at which we've tested hundreds of pushchairs, including several twin and tandem pushchairs. To read all of our pushchair reviews, including our verdict on the Bugaboo Donkey, go to witch.co.uk.